Alrighty, let's play this in full first. Hey guys, I was just, uh, I was just, this never leaves this room. Alright, so I got some questions. I got lots of questions actually, but you gave me lots of feedback. Um, how far along this is, basically blocking plus. Uh, I totally understood why it's empty and then full. I got some thoughts about that. So now, and you talk about certain uh, cartoony moments you want to enhance and push. My immediate question is, because I'm a foreigner. This never leaves this room. Does he say, I was just about to leave this room? I was just, this never leaves this room. I think so. There's something about really. This never leaves this room. This never leaves this room. Just about to leave this room. I know. There's something, but I mean, it's not crucial. I think I get the point. My So my thoughts, I have more broader thoughts than minutia, your critique, like watch out for twin poses right off the bat. This character has massive hands. I know this is part of the rake, but I would personally scale these guys down. They're so huge. Now, my thoughts on this. I understand that he is singing by himself, and I like... <laughs> I'm assuming this is, like you said, don't make fun of my intentional bad singing. I'm assuming that's you, and then that turns into an audio piece that you found online. Guys, I was just, uh... Unless that's you saying this as well. Guys just uh how's just this never leaves this room so not sure let me know what this second piece is from now but generally what i would do this is massively subjective so as always take this with a grain of salt or block of salt at this point what if what if because you're talking about this guy turning down the amp and everything which i kind of missed to me it was more like a pose kind of missed this it's kind of close to this character who's pretty cut off. There's a lot of empty space with a lot of colors and textures that are almost drawn, drawn my attention there. It's a bit confu not confusing, kind of distracting almost. So here's my proposal. And by proposal, I mean you can completely ignore this and do whatever you want. My thought would be, if we simplify this, what if? What if it's like this, and I don't mind the camera going back, but imagine... Maybe that step is not as far. Let's look at the mechanics of that step. But what if, what if you minimize that step a bit? But my thoughts would be, you start like this, you get to here, you do your thing, but I'm envisioning, I'm gonna make this all weird, go like this. Imagine it's a bit smaller, maybe that's a bit too small, but something maybe more like that and as he sings and he does his whole da, that type of thing what if now that we have room i'm gonna switch to a different drawing tool here now imagine you have throughout this whole thing top lights which could be blue red whatever disco lights or something that you can fake it so there's just light from above and the rest is pretty much blackness it's just dark you can't see anything and then instead of that that cut, let me get out of this tool here. Instead of cutting to a new angle, hold on, it looks like I did not get out of that tool. Instead of cutting to this, which the character kind of pops into a new position. I know you, you pose this based on this, which you mentioned in the email. Uh, what if you do all this, right? We're here. But then instead of a cut, all you do is you turn on the lights. It's basically suddenly the character, other character appears here with, that's a horrible thing. Uh, imagine, I mean, there could be, there could be a door, could be whatever, but I would imagine like a light switch and a char other characters standing here, hand on the switch, mouth open. Um, I don't know if you want suddenly another character standing there, but you could be wondering where did that did uh, that guy come from? So I mean, there are a couple of things you could do. Again, I'm just brainstorming, thinking out loud. You can absolutely disagree. What if? What if we take? Because it's not to me not massively important where they stand in this shot. So what if we do all of this? And like I said, we make this where it's actually what a bit like this. Now at the beginning of the frame, since this is where I'm recording here. Uh, your character might be around here and with that camera move back 
the character ends up, you know, again, we're looking at my crappy drawn thirds. Holy moly. Oh, wait, that's the other drawing tool, too. This is the, this is the messiest critique in history. Someone's going to chime in in the comments. No, <laughs> I saw words from you. So imagine these are my crappy drawn thirds. And you keep your character always kind of within within that. And you have that big close-up. The camera tracks back, right? And then we see him. He does his thing. And maybe he ends up maybe around here. That's just kind of his, his box of pose. Where then, let's be fancy here. Then the lights turn on. And this could be, this could be a door. With one character here. Light on the switch. Another character here. And that way we have this separation between the two. It's almost like, it's not like the character is surrounded by the two characters uh, coming in. I'm trying to pick a color, whatever. We have this clear line here visually where there is this group of friends. All the lights are on now. You can have additional lights. The whole room is, is um, lit up. And there's the other character in his singing pose. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to erase this whole thing here. So let me just go back. So again, my thoughts would have been, um, you start with this, let me go back here. It's so messy, apologize. You start here, goes back, does all this thing here. Maybe there's not that much right left movement. Cause you're covering a lot of ground here. So maybe cut that in half, but I'm imagining this whole beginning, all of this. And like I said, it's just a, top light spotlight coming down the pool of light is just in here and the rest is black it's all dark and then he does his thing and once he's here da 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 lights turn on but again he would be framed somewhat here and then you have like i said there's a door frame if you want a door frame the two characters are standing mouth open and then one just has arm here on the uh on the switch so it's very clear silhouette wise to turn on the lights and all the lights are now on. This could have a little bit of rem, uh, you know, remaining blue or red light, whatever. But then you got the regular lights that illuminate the rest of the room. Like that to me would be something at the beginning uh, that we could envision. And then let's go back in my messiness here. Then we cut to this. And I don't know if you need to go from here to here. You might even go this. But... Does he move around here? Because he looks pretty much at me, which is also kind of weird. So to me, it's more like that. But the framing, I mean, the framing could be this high, right? You got your wide screen more on the on the right side. And his kind of eyes are looking this way. It's right to left. And it's mostly a, a close up performance. So then you can go from, uh, you know, the wide shot body, act, body acting and all kind of pantomime and big broad stuff to a more close-up facial performance of him being all sheepishly saying, you know, I'm I'm about to leave here, whatever he's saying at the end. Anyway, it's a long ramble, but these are my thoughts. Before I go into any of the details, let me know what you think. Are you open to changes like that? Because it might just be it might just be a camera change, to be honest. Because you can keep all the animation, right? Just watch your twinning and the ginormous hands and stuff like that. But it would just be a camera change. He, that's probably the biggest animation change, maybe in just toning this down a bit. But to me, other than, other than that, it would just be camera change, lights on, since they're not really animated. I mean, all you would do is globally move them. I mean, he has that expression here, but he would globally move them so that he could be here. Light switch, right? This character standing here, and this character here doing his singing. This is all in one shot. And instead of a cut, we're showing that change just through lights turning on. I would, again take out those te textures it's, it's kind of all realistic textures and lots of busy stuff and then with these kind of simpler texture characters especially that contrast is a bit bit um jarring i would simplify the background for now just keep it you know solid colors and then for the second one uh i would just bring in uh, the camera a bit closer again with all those textures here modeling the silhouette and stuff so I'll keep this fairly simple uh and onto a fairly close-up where it's just facial acting that is in summary. Let me know what you think. You can completely disagree, uh, but I uh, would love to hear your opinion on that. <laughs> Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.